Okay, we just got in uh, information on Ed Burke as well. Uh, let's wow, see here. Good. We have, okay. Uh, okay, Ed Burke guilty uh, wow. on one count. Racketeering acts agreed on post office act 1A, B, 1C, 1D. Let's head back out to uh, Sarah Schulte for a look at, uh, at those guilty verdicts for Ed Burke. Sarah. Yeah. Right, and, and you know, this is a big one. Racketeering is a big one. It, it is, uh, it, it, um, in terms of sentencing, um, it, it takes up the most amount of prison time. This is a big one. Um, and this will probably have a lot to do with some of the other verdicts, whether it's bribery, extortion, that are coming through. But he is guilty on racketeering, and as I mentioned before, they have to find that he was guilty on two acts of this and they did found him uh, guilty on the post office two acts of the post office and an act in the burger king as well so this is a big one for ed burke right here and he is found guilty of racketeering on count one of racketeering we're waiting for the other counts again 14 counts against ed burke so much more to learn here, obviously, but a huge verdict coming yeah, out so, there against Ed Burke. So um, just to recap for you a little bit of what's happening here. So these verdicts are being read upstairs in the courtroom right now, where we have a team that's relaying all this information to Sarah Schulte, who's standing by right there. But as you heard right there, the big count here, the big charge for the feds in this case is that count one, which is racketeering. And in order to find him guilty, jurors would have to agree unanimously on two separate racketeering acts that they were committed. Apparently they did. In this case, you're looking at our graphics right now, our team producing this for you uh, as we speak. So that is um, the big verdict this afternoon. Yes, we and we are getting more information about uh, what's going on inside the courtroom as well. Our Craig Wall is there uh, talking about basically what what Burke's demeanor is uh, after looking at all of this and uh, we are going to take a look at that in just a moment. Burke count too guilty. Uh, he has his chin on his folded hands, his gold watch glinting in the courtroom light. He's staring toward the front of the courtroom. Family has their heads hung behind him. All right, we just got word on count two. This again is against Ed Burke. Guilty, corruptly soliciting and demanding things of value. Count three, also guilty using the use of an internet facility. In this case, that's a legal term for email accounts and cell phones and interstate facility to aid unlawful activity. Again, these verdicts are coming in one count at a time. F okay, what four. What do you know about count four? He is Guilty on count four, use of an interstate facility to aid unlawful activity. Count five, also guilty of attempted extortion. He is not guilty on count six, extortion conspiracy related to the Burger King project. And count seven, he is guilty, use of an interstate facility to aid unlawful activity that is in relation to the Burger King project. Um, we are okay. Count eight. He's he also is also guilty. Also and this, guilty. And this is uh, applying to both Burke and Peter Andrews, his co-defendant in this case. And it does relate to the alleged Burger King racketeering act scheme in this case. Count nine guilty use of an interstate facility to aid unlawful activity. This count applies to Burke and his use of his personal AOL email account in relations to the Burger King act. Okay, uh, Burke is guilty on count 11, uh, which is the corruptly accepting and agreeing to accept things of value related to the poll sign permit. That's uh, in relation to also things that Charles Quay was charged with. And count 15, he's guilty use of an interstate facility to aid unlawful activity. Again, this is, this is, um, I don't know, lawyers speak for using uh, outside of government uh, email addresses to conduct government business or to steer business. Uh, count 16, he is guilty. Ed Burke, use of an interstate facility to aid unlawful activity. This is tied to uh, mobile phone usage in relation to the poll sign permit as well. And count 18, guilty, attempted extortion. This is related to the Field Museum and blocking a fee raise. Uh, and uh, there's more on that, of course. And count 19, he is guilty use of an interstate facility uh, to aid unlawful activity. That's tied to uh, mobile phone usage, also related 
to the count uh, to the charges levied against him about blocking a field museum fee increase. Very interesting as we, uh, our My team, goodness. our entire team here is trying to dissect and go through uh, these counts. You're watching this as we were getting that verdict. Uh, Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.